Okay, Georgia's about to start practices. We've not seen it yet, but we did have some discussion with the players, etc. Ryan, comments, questions? Crowded. Very crowded. <laughs> Very crowded in there. They win the national championship, gotta, gotta put more reporters in there. Well, some of that, to be clear, what happened today, obviously the opening, having done these for God knows how long yeah, now. It's different. It's always different, but Coca-Cola was there today, and uh, they are they are getting ready to release these mini bottles, and they look different than the other bottles I've seen from other championship teams. So that marriage between Coca-Cola and Georgia is still pretty serious. Anyway, Kirby had to say that, uh, what was the, the number one quote for you in that whole deal? Uh, I liked... It's about getting the right guys on the bus and getting the right seats, just like every year. Yeah, I mean, I, it, 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 a little Kirby uh, metaphor for you. He uh, about to get into the sunlight here. There we go. Um, I look, I like this team. I, I need to, I need to watch them, but I, I, I've already watched them enough to know. Uh, I'm really glad we're able to watch practices later today. But I think that um, when, when you start taking into consideration um, what they've got coming back, they got a lot. And um, this is going to be a team that challenges for the national championship. Now, whether they win it or not, I don't know. I don't think you can really say that any one team is really in great shape to win the national championship. Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, um, perhaps in that order. Uh, you know, maybe Clemson. I just, don't, I just don't know if Clemson, Notre Dame, uh, I don't think Texas A&M have the long-term weaponry needed to compete. But, but I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not crapping on them. I'm, 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 I'm asking that question. I, I'm not sure. And yeah, I, don't, I, just, I mean, Georgia's got to prove it too. I don't know if, the, well, it comes down to those teams are just not as talented as, the, not. as the top three that we They're just not. talked about. They're not. Um, but it, it's the off season. Uh, we we have not seen the current rosters of all these teams play together right. the way they are. So right. um, it's a lot of a lot of speculation um, at this point in time. But some of it is, is justified speculation. We know we, a lot about this Georgia team. We know a lot about that Alabama team. I think there's more question marks for the Ohio State team if we're talking about those that kind of top tier of programs. I think the right questions now. for I mean Alabama's offensive line has got to get better. If they're not better. It's, it's going to be hard to outscore people with your quarterback on the ground. For Georgia, one thing he talked about today, and I don't know if this is a huge problem, but he was talking about guards. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound like they know who the two starting guards are yet. It yeah, didn't, I, it didn't sound like that was solidified. And I don't I don't think that's out of weakness necessarily. No. Well, I think part of it's out of health. We are going to We're going to um, five points. points. Yeah. Left. Look, this is the worst. It's not great. This is the, I'm going to pronounce this the worst intersection to turn left out of in Athens. Oh, uh, that's, no, there's so many places in contention for that. You can, okay. You can, Broad Street turning left on the North Thomas is probably my least favorite, if you can picture that. We could go to Calientitos, but Mark Rick doesn't hear it. you want to sit in this humid I do humidity? not want to. I don't want I to. Do I was want. sweating from the walk. That walk well, yeah, where I'm worried about your, uh, you know, for you know your ability, for lack of a better term, to compete right now. Oh, What's I'm happening? Dude, I had so much caffeine this morning. I was oh. typing, typing it's, some it's of these two and I, was, I have literally not eaten. I uh, drank a bottle of water. That's it. So not healthy either. Yeah, but look at this health in the car, though. We, <laughs> is that healthy? I don't think that's, that's, that's healthy at fasting. all. Fasting? No, it's not good. Uh, it depends on, hey, depends on your level of exercise. They asked me at the doctor's <laughs> office the other day, they said, well, have you been fasting? I said, I wanted to be like, does this look like it fasts ever? <laughs> There's no fasting allowed here. I'm uh, going straight. You're going left. Left, okay. You're going left. Uh, I, I think you, they're a position of power as it relates to their offensive line from the depth spot. I mean, you got a lot of options at guard. You yeah. got options at tackle. No, they, they do because you have a lot of people brought up Amarius Mims today. They have him behind the starting two the tackles. The problem would be Cedric Van Pram getting hurt. Now, then, you're, be then you're talking about probably probably Warren Erickson playing center. I don't know. Uh, you know, in the past, you had Warren, yeah. you had Jamari, no, you had no. options. You don't really I have I think any... that's probably your least deep. Your, that's probably your right. shallowest position on the on the line. So backup center yeah. is kind of a joke sometimes when people talk about the backup offensive line. I think it's one thing to be, you know, worried about. Right it was back My there? Bad, yeah. All right, we'll turn around. 
Next time we'll come that way. Yeah, it's and a disaster. We won't take that left hand turn for God's sake. Time is it's almost two. So I, I just you know, I I was the one that asked a question about rebuilding. What does rebuilding look like? I thought he answered it in a he answered that question, uh, Kirby Smart, in a way I did not not anticipate him to answer it. I thought he would say, We don't have rebuilding years at Georgia. But he was too smart for that and he said you can't really know. And he, he's right. I mean, because this, this certainly could be looked back on as a rebuilding year. It for totally the can. It totally we, can. We just don't know. Like, when you think about 03, that was rebuilding. Certainly 06. Um, you know, and it is, I think, I don't really know how, even though they finished ranked seventh or whatever it was and won, won a New Year's Six Bowl, it's hard to look back on 20 and not say they were rebuilding because they had three starting quarterbacks in that one was season. Out of the last in his tenure, that other than the other than 16. his opening season, that was as close to a rebuild as you can get. But I want to ask you and get you on the record right now. Do you view oh, this as a as a as a rebuilding year? It's August fourth. I think that they're too talented to call this yeah, a rebuilding I so year. I think that I think that this is another team it's a different team than last year because it's not the same exact team but i think this is another team that has has a high chance to make the playoff and has a, a solid shot at winning it all again I, um, this team reminds me more of the 18 team than any other team that they've got the question go more ahead. firepower on offense less yeah. firepower on defense it's kind of the same transition they have uh, jake from an 18 was a pretty good quarterback okay? that was his best year that was his best year but uh, I do think you're returning a quarterback that has been more productive than Jake was heading into 18. You do have more weapons. I mean, they had Miko. They lost some running backs. Is this it right here that yeah. we're talking about? Okay. Yeah, where, where they, I, there are some things where you know, and let's keep in mind that that Georgia team in 18 should have been up 17 on Alabama in the third quarter. Okay, but they were only at 14. Here comes the comeback. Alabama, you know, Alabama's default setting is winning. Okay, as I've said many times. And this Georgia team has now defeated Alabama. Does that matter? I think mentally it does. I think I, it think, does. I think it I definitely think it does. I don't think you can discount that. They um you we're not inside the heads of yeah. these coaches and players, but I would be it would be difficult for me to believe that there wasn't some sort of mental block in having all of those comeback losses against Alabama. Uh, oh, they're I heartbreaking losses. Yeah. It's a mental block. And they just did something that a lot of people didn't think they had in them and, and beat Alabama. But you and I, and, and like the pregame stuff, we both picked them. I don't want to make too much of that. I mean, I don't. But they were the better team last year. And yet, and Matt Matt and Dylan are not dummies. You got a mosquito on you. Uh, there it is. Oh, he's still jumping. Look at this guy. He's trying to win yeah, every he's single He's a competitor. Look at, Look at that. He's a competitor. Look at this guy. That should be the promo. He Let's go! go. <laughs> um, the, we, we did. We, we did. thought we they did. would win, but you could feel a lot of the Munson going into Dylan and Matt. Now, I don't think you just kill that off. I think that continues for people. No, I think, but I think it's a different program than it was a year ago. Or maybe it's or the it, maybe it was this program. Or maybe and they or had maybe to prove it started it. a year ago. Yeah, 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 maybe they had to prove it. I want I don't have the book with me, but I am definitely. I've got it. it with me. Oh, do you? Okay. Hey, pick this up today. Look at this. This is very good. Good teamwork. Uh, we're running out of time, and uh, we're running out. I'm definitely running out of these. Those I still have, but the best way to get it is by purchasing that. You get this in the mail. Uh, you can pick it up at Red Zone, which is on Clayton downtown. Make sure you're doing all those things. It's a great. It really is a nice magazine. I have to say, I looked at it the other day. Have you seen it? at all i know you wrote it yeah i have it i got it it's, it's good it's good it is good and you can't lots, get of, lots of good pictures in it lots um, of good anecdotes and yeah, so. exclusive interviews kendall milton etc uh, yeah. stetson i i don't know i do think the shaving of the heads or close haircuts whatever that was that that's is, funny that is, it's a good team building it's a, deal you know, every little thing that they can do one of the most important things that that was talked about so much last year was the school sessions mm -hmm. and i think that really did matter in the long run everyone knowing a lot about each other, getting closer to each other, because it's a big team. You have, what, 130-ish kids on yeah, the roster? Yeah, 125 guys. So that's that's hard to be close with all of them. And so them mixing and, max, mixing and matching groups, I think, was really important. Little things like that can create a friendship. 
We used to go out on Friday nights before basketball games, and I was telling my wife about it the other day, and she didn't know anything about this, which is kind of hard to believe considering how long we've known one another and um, and how many idiotic stories she has to suffer through. And that was our team building thing. It wasn't everybody on the team, but we went every single uh, Friday night before games. And of course, after games were a totally different story and somewhat dependent on if you won or lost. But, um, but um, I think that that helps, that helps get you pointed the right direction, but you gotta be, you gotta do it at the end of the day. And, you know, do you have the capability? This, does this team have the capability to win the national championship? The answer to that is yes. Now the, the, the question is, will they do it? And <clears throat> that was the question last year. And the answer was, and yes. the answer was yes. Yeah. I, I, I think they will probably lose a game along the way. I'm not certain who when, that, when is the question. I don't know who that person, no, who that team will be, but um, I think they will. I'm not certain that my more apt to think they'll go undefeated in the regular season. But this isn't about the regular season, man. They lose a game, you know, they're still probably going to play in Atlanta. The question is, can they do this to Alabama again? No, but not? listen, if they go That's undefeated the in the in the regular season, then they're then they're, you're, one then of the, they're, they're in. in and that right. matters a lot because that <clears> takes that takes a level of pressure off in Atlanta. Now, it, it would determine where you play um, in that semifinal game. But well, you, if you would, don't win in Atlanta, you're playing. In you're Phoenix. playing in Phoenix. That's that looks, because the that winner sounds, is going to play if it's either Clemson or well, in the, and unless the, you have an undefeated Ohio State. If you have an undefeated, well, undefeated Ohio State's going to play in Atlanta. Unless they're playing the dogs. Well, I don't know. Man. We don't know how I, I don't, there's a lot of possibilities. We don't we don't if Alabama and Georgia and Clemson are involved in this playoff, there is no scenario where Ohio State hosts a game in Atlanta. That would be idiotic. I mean that's like yeah, that Georgia saying, Oh yeah, we'll play the national championship game or the or we'll play our yeah. number one seeded game in Indianapolis. If those are the other three the other and three, Ohio State's the one they will pick play it, in they're picking Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Ohio State, they travel. Okay. And uh, we saw Michigan all the way to Miami, uh, Miami last year. So, but anyway, we've got to get there first. It does seem like those three are barreling towards the playoff. It does. It now does. the question becomes: Do you get a twenty-four and zero Alabama and Georgia headed to the dome or not? If you don't, then we know. Who do you think is more likely to go twelve and zero out of the two? Georgia is more likely because the West because is harder. The West is harder. But. Um, the first week is really the first week is really important. I think too, Alabama's got to clean some shit up, man. They do. Okay, the offensive line needs to be cleaned up. And the, then... There's some stuff they did just didn't play well at times a season ago. I don't want to go on too long. Anything else quickly here about today with Kirby? Kirby was pretty, you know, robotic. Whatever. A lot he of was, he was, people. He there. was he was pretty Kirby. Um, I don't know why. I thought it was funny when he said, "I'm not thinking about Dan Lanning at all." Oregon. That's their mindset. It's it's a um, today is the thirty day mark for them to play Oregon, mm -hmm. and so and they're not thinking about Oregon quite yet. So I think they're working on themselves more and figuring out personnel and and figuring out depth chart order seems to be more the focus. Everyone getting back in shape if if they aren't already in shape. There's people dealing with injuries. They're trying to rehab Are we guys. Are getting into shape or not? What? I've lost a few pounds <laughs> recently. I've lost a few pounds recently, so we're getting back there. This year wasn't kind to me weight wise. I know what that. I know what that's like. I was okay. 20, 20 But let's get rolling with twenty. Uh, what are, What are we in here? Twenty two. We're in, we're in twenty two now. All right, we're in twenty two. We can kill this.